Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos and sometimes tattoo related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So in today's video, I will be showing you a tattoo practice on fake skin. Uh, the design you will see me work on here is actually a design I made for Diana, a dear friend. I actually tattooed <laughs> this design on her already and uh, I will insert a picture somewhere here so you can see the final result. We are still waiting for the tattoo to heal and it will probably need a touch-up session. But overall I'm pretty pleased with this design, it's very up my alley and I wanted to show you guys how I practice my tattoos before doing them on real skin and also answer some of the questions that I usually get on most of my videos and um, I also asked you guys on Instagram and on YouTube to ask me some questions if you had any about tattoos or illustration and I will be answering them in this video so hopefully that will be helpful. So the first question is from Dottie Spotty. Uh, she asks, well, what brand of clay do you use if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I usually use Dust Air Dry Clay or Darvi Air Dry Clay. They both work really well. I prefer air dry clay to polymer clay just because I find it easier to uh, mold it and work with it. So Shailene Stout asked which brush do you use for the details? Um, this is specifically on a video the question but I usually use Arteza really fine brushes or Milan brushes like the uh, 0 0.5 or 0 0.2 brushes. Elizabeth Barnhill asked, excuse my ignorance, but could someone please tell me what the white pen used at the end uh, with such a great effect is? Now this uh, question I get a lot. I use the same white pen for all my highlights in my illustrations. It's the Archistro paintbrush pen. It's really good. It has quite a lot of uh, ink flow to it and you can easily cover up anything with it. Uh, it's very thick in consistency and I definitely recommend it. Uh, Boohoo asked how did you become a tattoo artist? Now uh, I'm not really a tattoo artist, I'm still kind of a tattoo apprentice. I um, started working on fake skin like in August of last year. I bought my machine and uh, a bunch of fake skins and all the tattoo supplies you might need. And I practiced about until November. Then I contacted a local shop here where I knew the woman who owns the shop and I asked if she is offering any courses or if I could come by and see my progress on fake skin and see if we could do sort of a collaboration. And from then I kept going to the tattoo shop uh, I was really lucky that she let me work on real skin, on my friends of course, and now I am almost nine months into tattooing. Yeah, I'm looking to get my license right now to, so that everything is legal and I can actually get clients, but it's still a work in progress so I'm not officially a tattoo artist and it definitely is a long process. Uh, Samantha Brooke asked, what do you use to clean the fake skin? Everything I try just smears the ink everywhere. So I usually use um, Vaseline to clean it uh, and sometimes uh, green soap and water. However, I will say it depends a lot on the fake skin you are using. Mine is from Real Skins and it's very easy to clean do with just Vaseline. Anna asked, could you link somewhere where you bought the fake skin? It looks high quality. As I said, the only Real Skin I've used so far is the Real Skins one. Uh, it's uh, from what I've heard from the reviews and looking up online, it's probably the closest you will get to real skin. And yeah, I will link it in the description box. They are based in the UK, I believe, and their prices are pretty up there, but it's definitely worth it if you want to practice on something that is easy to work with. Ella Wadan, I don't know how to pronounce it, asked uh, about the shading. Do you shade in the same speed you line? 8 volts and which needle do you use? 3 round liner or 5 round liner? Now this is uh, specifically about a video where I practiced a bulldog portrait. Uh, I don't shade in the same speed as lining. I usually line at around 8.5 volt and I shade from 6.5 to 7.5 but the speed you will be lining and shading at is very different to each artist and uh, I do recommend you kind of try and, and see what works best for you. Uh, you can shade with 
round liners or you can shade with magnums sometimes it's just easier to do like a simple shading with a round liner but you can definitely use both uh, types of needles for shading Cat Fox asked were you always a creative and artistic child and did you always want to become a tattoo artist so the first question is probably yes uh, I did draw a lot while I was a child I know I used to draw a lot of Sailor Moon portraits and all sorts of women with fashion illustration sort of vibe but it was very it was a very bad drawing usually and yeah I always had this interest I'm not very good at math or uh, anything that requires you to be very technical I kind of always followed my creative intuition with what I wanted to do and create and uh, whatever I do I always go back to drawing and yeah I think I think uh, that gene was implemented in me and the second question is uh, I don't think I always wanted to become a tattoo artist but it's something I have considered quite a many times in my life I remember when I got my first tattoo the woman that made the tattoo for me um, kind of fol followed me on social media and she was aware that I do illustrations and she asked me why don't you become a tattoo artist and I kind of contemplated that idea for a second and I thought it would be cool but I was I guess too scared to start so from then on I kind of was always fascinated with tattoos but never really had the courage to start so droplets 619 asked what needle brand are you using in this particular video I'm using quadron a five round liner uh, I usually use from quadron the needles or Cheyenne or in the beginning I used to use big wasp but I realized I like Cheyenne and quadron more even though they are more on the expensive side VK and Zach asked what do you suggest is the best voltage for lining and the best voltage for shading uh, as I mentioned in the previous question regarding lining and shading voltage is very personal to each artist um, there isn't one particular voltage that works best for lining or one that works best for shading usually when lining you want your um, machine to go faster and when you're shading you want it to go slower so that you get smooth blends but I wouldn't be able to tell you one particular <laughs> uh, number on the voltage you have to try it out for yourself and the last question is from my Instagram uh, what made you have the courage to get into tattooing I guess it was a combination of uh, multiple factors the fact that I was feeling pretty low about my illustration business last year and overall overall not feeling accomplished creatively and wanting to try something new something that I was scared to try but something that was exciting and was still in the creative field and as I said I've always been fascinating with tattoos and I never really saw myself doing them but I wanted to try and see if I like it see if I can do it and I guess I just kind of took a leap of faith so these are all the questions I have for you in this video I hope you enjoyed them I hope they helped you in some way or another if you have any more questions just leave them in the comment section below and I hope you enjoyed this fake skin tattoo practice session and I'll see you in the next one bye